In the last video, I created a chorus I liked, but then when playing the introduction followed by that chorus, I felt it didn't sound cohesive. In other words, they sounded like two different songs. And one of the most important aspects of songwriting is getting flow between all the various different sections. So in this video, I'm going to suggest another way to create your chorus. One of the really cool things about BandLab is that it keeps all your revisions and all your saved versions so that at any time you can revert to an earlier version. So that is what I'm going to do here. Effectively, I'm going to roll back the clock to a point where I just finished the introduction. Click on Exit Mix Editor in the top left hand corner. Scroll down if you need to and at the bottom with a green background, click on View Project History. Here you can see from both the little circles here and the tracks on the left hand side that I have saved five versions. If we press play on any one of these versions, we can hear it. This is a really helpful record of our progress. And if you're a student, you can also demonstrate to a teacher or assessor how you put your song together. We can even edit the description of each saved version by clicking here. So I might write chorus I didn't like. Save. And now we can see the little note I just made. I'm looking for the version where I finished my introduction but have not yet started the chorus. Every different version has the date it was saved and if we hover our mouse over the version we can see how long it is. This one is 1 minute and 8 seconds. This one is just 49 seconds. Having identified the version I think might be the one I want to revert to, I now need to just check by listening to it. But rather than listening all the way through, I'm going to press play and then click on the waveform just before the end. So that's definitely the one I want. So I'm now going to press on this little white microphone with the red circle. And now I'm ready to continue the chorus.